a welcome to my little Facebook live broadcast. You might be watching live on Friday the 6th of April for me or later on YouTube. So I'm going to be uploading this to YouTube. So if you have any questions at all, um, just drop me a comment on YouTube or Facebook here or send me an email, Shelley at speedpushings.com and I'll let you know the answer next time I go live. So hello, welcome. Lovely to see you here. Um, today I'm going to do a little bit of a stock take of my work in progress, um, all my projects, and let you know what I'm doing, what I'm going to keep going on, what I'm going to let go for now. Um, so yes, as I mentioned just before, I'm going to start uploading these videos to YouTube today. I said I'll do it last week, but it was too, <laughs> too disorganized last week, so it'll start from today. So I won't upload any old ones, just from today forward. So if you ever want to catch up, you can do it either via Facebook or via YouTube. So, yes, hopefully by next week I'll have my setup completely done. Um, I am still organising this room and hopefully next week I'll be able to be in a better spot so you won't see the door behind me. All right, good morning. <laughs> Lovely to see you. All right, so school holidays are here. Not doing a whole lot. Um, yeah, we're already a week down. Crazy. Um, and the teenager is enjoying sleeping in, of course. <laughs> um, yeah, I've been to Port Ferry a couple of times. We're going to Melbourne tomorrow, but yeah, little bits of fun. So this week, um, on Wednesday, I sent my work in progress email. <laughs> Hooray! Hello, hello. Um, yes, I sent my weekly email this week, and it was all about my works in progress. I did a bit of a stock take. I pulled out everything that I've started. And had a look at it and decided what I'm going to do and also decided had a bit of a list of the things that I would like to do next so let me show you my current things so last year I did Sirens Atlas as you probably know I have a feeling that something's going to fall over just bear with me for a second I hope it's not making too much noise sorry <laughs> I thought I had fixed that but still may fall anyway Oh, fingers falling. I'm sorry. I hopefully that has sorted that out. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, yes, Sirens Atlas. So last year I did Sirens Atlas. I've shown you my um, a couple of samplers, my blues sampler, my Delft blanket, which was a sampler as well. Um, I'm sure there was another one. Anyway, <laughs> but when I did them, I also made every pattern at least twice in this Bendigo wool and those cotton in blue. So I have 104 squares. Well, I actually have 108. I've made a few extras. I still need to make a couple extra more. But it was just sitting, waiting to be joined up. I hadn't looked at it for ages. So this week I pulled it out. And I have joined... Two lots of this. <laughs> it's big. It's going to be 10 rows by 11 rows. So it's going to be huge. So that's one section. I've done another one the same. And I've just got one more row to join. I think I've got two more squares here and I have to make two more. And then I'll put this strip in the middle of all of those and I will have one huge blanket. <laughs> so... It will be massive, as you can imagine. So that's not even half of it. Yeah, so that's good. That will get done probably maybe even by the end of today. I might finish joining that. And then I'll have some time to do a border on it. And it will be finished. Hooray. <coughs> Pardon me. The cold is still hanging on. Um, yes, and I have also been working on Erin's blanket. I think I'm almost halfway now on this one. So I've added a few more rows since last time. I think last time I might have been up to down here or here. I can't remember. Anyway, I love this chevron. It's really lovely. So yes, that's still happening. She might even get that this year if she's lucky. <laughs> so that's still happening and I am still working on that. This, this is kind of my weekend project or when I've had enough of my work project, work crochet stuff. This is what I tend to pick up. Um, I also am still working on my knitting. I've, I've shown it to you heaps of times. I'm sure I'm not wanting to show it to you every single week, but 
It's getting longer. <laughs> longer, longer, longer. So this is also a weekend project where I'm sitting on and working on that. So I am trying to get that done before the start of June so I can wear it to an event. So that's that. They're the ones that I'm working on at the moment. <coughs> Pardon me. Others that I have that I found that are on the back burner a little bit are this scarf. Now I'm just, hmm, it's coming undone. I haven't put it up a bit. I started this over a year ago. <laughs> it's probably about more than halfway done. Um, using this tape yarn made from um, eucalyptus. And I started it and I still like it. But uh, I don't know. I just haven't touched it. I actually forgot that it was even there until I opened up my big box of things to find it. So I don't know. Maybe I'll put that aside till summer because it's a light thing and we're heading into winter now. So not sure. That one's probably just going to go back in the box. Um, another one that's been a long-term project is this one, which is all single colour again. You know, I like my single colour. <laughs> it's pretty huge. It's made up of... All patterns that I've designed all different sizes so you can see it's really really big ones joined up to little ones now the plan was when I started doing this to make all of my patterns ones that I designed in this gray color and then join them into like a, a big sample blanket so I've still I've got some here from other sizes all joined up um, some really big ones all joined up <laughs> Plus, oh, the, I haven't even released half of these patterns, like these large ones. I don't even know. That's probably designed about three years ago now, and I still haven't released it. Crazy. I need to get onto that. <laughs> like that one too. I haven't released that one yet either. Anyway, and all of these here. I don't know if you can see those. Oh. These are all just waiting to be joined up. So if I did that, it would be... A monster size blanket and it would be absolutely completely done I am not going to make any more in this color I'm not going to remake um, all my sirens Atlas patterns in here <laughs> in this color and do it it would just be too big so yes that's another one that has been sitting there for a while and oh, everything's falling over again <laughs> no it's <laughs> okay <laughs> so yes that's another one that is on the back burner, but I think once I've finished maybe Erin's blanket, I might pull this one out and get going on that. Um, what else did I find in my big box? I found the sheep, sh sh uh, I can never say it, you know, sheepies, sheep, 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 I don't know, <laughs> the whirl. <laughs> I started it on this pattern, but this pattern is not a good one for the yarn. The, the colour changes are just too slow, but... I have had an idea. I'm going to undo that and I will, I've got an idea for another pattern I'm going to use that for. So I have to wait for a while, but it will happen. Um, what else? Oh, this one that I showed you a couple of weeks ago that I started designing. I still just still do want to do this as a, a cowl coming up, but I'm not going to do it as my next cowl. I'll explain about that a little bit later on. It will happen, but just not right now. Um, Yes, I've had another idea, but I'll never tackle first. So that's that. That's my work in progress pile. I actually thought there would be more. <laughs> so I'm not too upset about that. That's pretty good. I think if I can focus on those, getting those three done first, then I can start working on some of the other exciting ideas I've got. Okay. Now, so book progress. Yesterday I dropped the last of the book projects. All the projects are 100% done, completely done. Fantastic. I've dropped them all over to my photographer who has already started taking photos and oh my god <laughs> oh, It's looking so good. I'm so excited. So hopefully the photographer will be finished in the next week or two And I can pop all the photos in the book and it will be awesome um, now I joined up all the samples that I made and um, But now I've realized I need some single square samples again. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to remake um, some of those, but that's okay. It's good because I'm because I'm working so much on the computer side of the book now. Actually, crocheting on it again will actually be a good thing. 
um, now that the projects are out of the way, I can go back to the actual squares and, and look at those again. Um, I have to think about the cover and I have an idea of what I want that to be. <laughs> and yes, so that's good. And what else? Uh, this week I have posted my weekly words with Chris from South Africa. She made up a, a beautiful blanket for her granddaughter. It's all pinks and purples with like, like granny squares, but with um, bears and motifs and things on them. So go check that out on my page a little bit later if you wish. And as always, if you would like me to feature you on my Facebook page, I'll pop a link down below in the comments later. And I will upload, you can um, put your answers to the questions in and I will upload one a week for, until people stop doing it. <laughs> um, that's cool. <clears throat> oh, in the mail yesterday. I received the hard copy of this book, Crochet Kaleidoscope by Sandra Eng. I received um, a PDF copy of it a little while back and I've had a bit of a play with the pattern. So there are 100 motifs in this book and I'm going to post a review on my blog now that I've got this in my hands um, next week and probably my email people will get a bit of a review as well. So that's exciting. I'll show you more of that next week after I've finished writing my review and everything. Um, yes, so that's that. That's everything that's happened this week that I can tell you about. <laughs> um, okay, on to questions that I've had. So when do the cruise that I'm going to be teaching on in, in January next year? Um, cruise tickets will be going on sale next week. Um, I'll share more info and links and things here on Facebook and on my blog and probably in my newsletter. So you know, you won't miss it. I'll have information for you if it's something you are hoping to come along and do. Um, I had a question about squaring the circle. So it's your standard circle in a square pattern, which I love to do. It's one of my favourite things. A lot of the patterns in my book, a lot of the patterns in my previous book, there's one right there, are circles that go square. Um, but if you're just after the basic solid circle squaring off, I've got so many options for you. There's the Squaring the Circle tutorial post on my blog. There is my Dottie's Body Baby Blanket, which has five different circles um, that you make to make one blanket. I have, as I said, in my ebooks and all sorts of things in my coming up book, lots of circles that go square. Um, but if you want the basic one, when it's fairly small, when you want like a six inch square, you can probably get this is one, two, three, four round circle. If you do a five round circle, there's a bird tapping on my window. <laughs> um, then you can still square it off quite easily. But when you get larger, it's a bit trickier um, to square off. And that's where a lot of variation and pattern designing comes in. So, but if you want the basic thing, there's plenty of information out there on how to, how to do that. So that's that. That's all the questions. So... Um, my plans for the coming weeks, I have um, to make more book samples, as I mentioned before. Planning my next projects. Now, that's what I was talking about before. I know I did a stock take of my work in pro works in progress. I also made a bit of a list of the things that I want to do. And I said that all in my email. I'm not going to say it all again now. Um, but I've decided which one of those things that I listed I am going to do. And it's going to be my giant S pattern. Well, it's actually two patterns in one. Um, it's a pattern I wrote, designed, I don't even know, three years ago, four years ago? I don't know. But it's, I love it. It's great. Um, it is a more complex one, which is wonderful. A lot of people like trickier patterns. But it was before I started doing videos, before I started doing charts. And of all my previous patterns, it's the one that would probably benefit the most from having charts and videos. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and remake samples. I actually don't have the original sample anymore. I sold it because <laughs> I thought oh, I won't need that anymore. Yeah, good plan. Um, but I also actually want to tweak the larger square. There's two squares in it. One's, I can't even remember, one's about eight or ten inches and the other one is bigger. <laughs> I can't remember. It might be 12 or 14 or 15 inches. I can't remember. Anyway, but they're, they're very similar. They have very similar design features, but the larger one um, I, I really am not happy with the centre of it, so I want to change that. 
and also, as I say, do videos and update the pattern and do charts and things like that for it too. So that is going to be my focus once I have freed up the time by finishing a couple of things and getting the book stuff handed over to other people. That is going to be my focus. Now I am going to do it as a bit of a crochet along. Not a big huge cowl like mine cowl, just a bit of a low key one. Um, so anyone who's previously bought the pattern will have the updated pattern for free. No front drama at all. Um, if you've bought it from my, my pattern shop, it should, you, you'll get an update automatically when I do release it, re-release it. And also on Ravelry, if you've bought it on Ravelry, you'll get an automatic update then. Um, but it is going to be a paid cal. You pay for the pattern and then we'll do it together. And then after that's done, it's not going to take a huge amount of time because it's basically written. I just have to spend the time retweaking, tweaking the centre, making the videos, getting the charts done. And then I will focus on the other cow, which will be like the mine one was and big one and I'll do all the ebook that goes with it and all that sort of stuff. So that's what I've decided to do. I like to have a plan and know what I'm doing. So that's what I'm going to be doing. And I'm very excited about that. So next week after I finish a few work things off, that's what my focus is going to be. All right. Um, what else? Ah, tomorrow. I'm heading to Melbourne tomorrow. Yay! <laughs> Down and back in a day. That's a big day for me. I get on the bus at six o'clock and get home about midnight or one o'clock in the morning. I can't remember. Anyway, but it's all fun because I'm going to go to the Australian Quilt Convention, which is on at the Royal Exhibition Building in Melbourne, um, and go and stand at the Crafty Adventures stand, stall, <laughs> part of it, from about midday till it closes tomorrow. So if you're going, come and say hello. Um, I've already sent my mind blanket is there, so you'll be able to check that out. Um, also, um, Sophie's Universe by Deirdre is there, Deirdre Use, because she, she's going to be doing a cruise as well. So it's going to be really fun. Hopefully I will see some of you there. It's going to be great fun. <laughs> so yes, that's the, my plan for the coming few days, um, apart from finishing off all my book things so if you have any questions at all just um, drop me a comment I will pop links down below in a moment with, to all the things I've talked about and um, that's it I will see you next week and if you're watching on YouTube you can either keep watching other episodes <laughs> or you can come over to Facebook or subscribe to YouTube so you get notified when I upload the next one all right, so thank you very much for watching. Have a wonderful weekend, and hopefully I'll see some of you tomorrow. Bye.